so this is going to be my first video on my channel i'm going to make this a roller skating channel so i decided it's only fitting if i start this journey off by showing my moxies that i just ordered from a shop in california it's a small business called fritz roller skating i'll be sure to leave a link down below they have amazing customer service i had a couple inquiries before and during my ordering process and they were spot on with the responses i i would definitely order from them again i loved everything about their shop they were the only ones i could find that had my size in moxie's still available because the moxie website themselves were sold out within minutes um as you can see i ordered i hope you guys can see that i ordered a moxie panther in a size eight i am a woman's size eight um my size i'll link it down below exactly what size i am in centimeters just so you guys can compare my size to yours to make sure you're getting just the right amount um i ordered a size seven originally and i panicked and was like oh my gosh i feel like the seven gonna be too small like i know it's i know it comes in men's sizes but i just really felt like it might just be too small so i panicked i called them i emailed them actually and i changed it to a size eight the very next morning um so i've been eagerly waiting for the size eight to come i feel like maybe it'll be too big but there's lots of ways you can counteract uh big shoes versus a getting a smaller size there's not many ways you can contract a smaller size so here they are my moxie panther size eight are you guys ready i'm i'm so okay here we go one two three you guys get to look before i do this is how they look um this is the info card for fritz roller skating here are my moxies oh my gosh i'm officially a moxie girl <laughs> i am beyond excited right now i waited approximately i would say i ordered these on tuesday and i got them now a tuesday so i would say about seven days waiting here they are i actually opened these already i opened them really quickly and i looked at them but aren't they gorgeous here they are. Wait. <laughs> Here are my moxies. Looking gorgeous. I can tell right now off the bat, they are stiff. Let me get this through y'all head. They are stiff. Like, there is absolutely no movement here it's a stiff 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 boot this will require a lot of breaking in every every part of this boot is just reinforced and really really stiff oh my gosh <laughs> um i'm gonna go about the hardware and everything in a second i just wanted to do a quick run through of how the boots are looking the quality seems really good i hope my problem with my last two boots, I ordered from Amazon, and I will not even link them because I don't recommend them at all, but the boot was tearing away from the heel, and it was really just crappy um, quality, so I was very upset about that. I returned them back not once, but twice, same problem both times. So I'm hoping these Moxie Panthers give me no trouble in that department because I have literal PTSD with that. Um, it also included a crab tool. I really wish I got a shipment that had the toe guards on them already. Um, I'm gonna actually get different toe guards anyways, but I just wanted them here now in the panther. You know, I wanted the whole ensemble, but it's okay. So yeah, the panther came, the crab tool came. Um, has these rolled things inside that just keep shape and they are stuffed the toe right here are stuffed with these things 
So before you even put your foot in them, really reach down and try to pull them out because they will give you an inaccurate like sizing. You might feel they're too tight, but they really aren't. It's just that it's stuffed. I also have the Moxie Owners Manual. Um, tells you like important facts, you know, not to roller skate when it's wet. It also shows you like um, a skating, how do I say this? Like a setup manual of what everything is so you can become an expert skater. What to do before you skate, stuff like that. I'll look at that later. Um, yeah, I have my own Y3 tool that I bought from Amazon. So I'll be using this, but they do come with a crab tool, you guys. I'm glad because I never had this part. And this part is going to be used when I'm adjusting my toe stop or when I'm adjusting my um, truck right here. Well, not my truck, but this part right here. Okay, let's put this box away for a second. And I will come back with a, another video when I am putting them on and actually rollerblading outside with them let's just put them to the side so these are very 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 padded if you peel this back you see nothing but a thick layer of padding and when i looked online I like reviewing stuff i didn't realize just how thick this layer of padding really is you guys like this part I put my foot in there and I'm like, whoa, I'm suctioned by padding. I really am. These are size eight. And I truly believe if I got anything lower, I got my correct men's size, which is size seven, that I would feel like these are too tight. I would probably want to return them back because it's so padded in the toe box area and the tongue, it almost squeezes your foot, like it suctions your foot you feel like it's really, really tight. So like people have a lot of pain trying to break these in because it's squeezing the hell out of you. So I'm actually glad I got a size eight. I don't think anything lower would have been better for me. Okay, so on the boot itself, we have, it's a pretty much wide boot, but because of all the padding, I would say it fits a narrow feet. I have um, pretty regular feet. I will link below in my description box my actual like foot sizing from the length to the width of my foot just so you can understand um my pains and stuff i would say workmanship i don't see anything that's like too bad or anything that's like really no what's this no i i think everything is fine everything's on pretty tightly i love this part right here uh, when i put these on I would say that the ankle part really just nag into your foot quite a bit um, until you break them in I would say just not put the laces up to the last notch I'll probably lace them up to the first one just to suck me in but I wouldn't lace them up all the way because boy it just it really does nag into your ankles putting the boot under you see we have a aluminum truck i people always said that the truck would be really heavy um i guess they're heavier but i don't really notice the difference on my feet that the trucks have i don't i don't see that at all i think i think they um i think they're pretty they're pretty comfortable i don't i don't feel way down to the ground or anything when i am skating in them which i only really skated from one end of my house to the next but i don't feel any difference in that so i would say the um the plate is pretty much it's doable um my trucks they look pretty nice i don't see a problem there the cushions i don't even really know the actual durometer of the cushions on the moxie panthers Oh, if I want to get them softer, I don't know yet. I will have to see when I'm skating them the outside and stuff. My wheels are the Moxie Panther wheels. Um, they're 58 millimeter, 78 um, durometer. 
Oh, it's so pretty when you spin it. Okay, and they, I'm gonna put a close up real quick. There it is. They are glittery on the inside. You can't see the glitter. You can see all of that. I'm going to loosen up my tr my uh, my nuts a bit because they're not giving me the roll I want. I'm gonna loosen up the axle nut, and I'll be right back. So with you guys. I'm back after adjusting my skates um you probably won't see any actual adjustments but i definitely um adjusted my axle nuts so my wheels spin a whole lot better they are a little bit more um freely moving on my actual trucks i also adjusted my um i forgot what this is called but i adjusted this nut right here for my cushion area and that just enables my trucks to move. If you guys can see that, they move back and forth a bit more easily without me having to put too much effort into actually pushing myself um, left and right. So I move. I, I adjusted those two. Um, I did not adjust my toe stop. I know on one of the clips, it looks like I'm adjusting it, but I actually just put it back to how it was factory because I actually do not need a low toe stop. Um, a lot of the tricks I practice when I have my other skates, I need a higher toe stop or no toe stop in general to do. So I didn't move those anymore. That's pretty much all the adjustments you need to make out of the box. You need to fix your wheels so they move. Um, you can adjust your trucks if you want to, your toe stops that's pretty much it i uh, i have other wheels i'm gonna check these moxie out for a bit these are smaller in um diameter than my wheels my wheels are 65 mm these are 58 so we'll see how these feel and i i'm gonna look at another video in the future probably a couple days from now showing me actually riding in these skates and how it feels to have a complete session with these skates on um secondly i'm going to make a video next month the next three months and the next six months after having these skates just a review of how i feel after you know all that time having these skates if i've breaking them in quite comfortably any more adjustments I might make. I might change the wheel, I might change my toe stop, might change my cushions, um, my laces. I'm gonna definitely add toe guards because I do not wanna scuff these suede at all. They also came with this, I didn't mention it, but it does come with the Moxie Lolly like keychain. I took it off because it was a little difficult to put my skates through when I had the keychain on, but that is pretty much it. That's all I have for my first impressions of me unboxing my Moxie Panthers. Um, stay tuned for more. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Um, definitely leave me a comment in the description box. I would read them all. If you have any questions, any concerns at all about buying your skates or where to buy them, I definitely have a ton of websites I can give you. Make yourself feel included in my little community. That's all for now, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.